Yeah, except that's red. <laughs> All right, hang on. Hey everybody, looks into swirl here. New day, new cup project. Different angle. Um, hopefully you will be able to see this. <laughs> I think I've set it up okay. Not sure how it's gonna go, obviously. You're seeing things a little differently than usual. And that's because I'm gonna be working on this tumbler, top to bottom or bottom to top, or however you wanna say that. I'm gonna be airbrushing on the Roy G. Biv rainbow colors. So I have, these are all Woody's goodies. I have a short trip, Mai Tai, uh, Harvey Wallbanger, Pickleback, Electric Lemonade, and Purple Hooter, my rainbow colors. I'm gonna be putting them one at a time into my airbrush. This is a Mr. Nola's Glitters Special. You know, I'll show you one color or maybe two colors in regular time, and then I'll speed things up and we'll, we'll see how it goes. I have uh, cleaned my cup with alcohol. I have not sanded it. This will be alcohol ink on naked stainless steel. I have some paper towels at the ready. You will see me probably spraying alcohol ink onto the the pad or the towels to empty the pot out. I apologize to the folks who think this might be wasteful. This is just how it's gonna work. Try not to put too much in in the first place. Better to have less and refill than to have too much and have to dump it. My tumbler's upside down, so the red's gonna be down here, the purple's gonna be up here. And um, Mrs. Nola advises starting light to dark, but we don't really have that option with Roy G. Biv, because I'd like to keep the the rainbow colors in order. So I'm just gonna, I think, start with purple and work my way down to red. And that means I'll have to clean out this every time. I'll do that by dumping in a little clear 91% isopropyl alcohol and blowing that through and then putting in the next color. Let's just get going. Here we go. Yeah, except that's red. <laughs> All right, hang on. Forgot what I just told you I was gonna do. Gonna clean that up. All right. Got the purple in there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go purple. I'm gonna start at the top, just like I said. I'm already running out, but that's all right. Okay, we'll be back for the next step shortly. Stay tuned. And we're back. Okay, I wanted you to see how this turned out after uh, it spent a night drying. So the alcohol inks are all that we put on here. So this is the Rainbow Roy G. Biv on stainless steel. I did have a slight accident after I turned the camera off. I was cleaning out my airbrush. And even though I thought I put this far enough away, I got a few little droplets flecked on the cup of alcohol and it just it caused a little spot but I don't think it's going to make a difference in the end we'll, we'll find out <laughs> but I just I think this looks absolutely gorgeous I'm very happy with how it looks and now we're going to go on to the next step okay so here's what's going to happen I have it on my turner 
This is my new Globius Turner. I did a review of this recently when I first got it, and I'll link to that video below if you're curious about it. I think it's a wonderful turner. I like it a lot. And onto my tumbler, I'm gonna put some uh, KS Liquid Stone Ultra UV Resin. Into that, I am going to stir in a little bit of Peachy Olive Glitters Bright, which is a beautiful, fine rainbow white. I think that'll look very pretty. It'll allow all the colors to come through because glitter theory and color theory are two different things. That was another video I just did recently. <laughs> I'll link to that one below if you don't know what I'm talking about and you're curious. This will let these colors come through while adding beautiful sparkle because it's glitter. So uh, yeah, just sit back and enjoy the show. Here we go. And we're back. Okay, let's see what we got. This tumbler turner is a little taller than my other one, so I had to raise up my, my covering. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh. Look at how stunning this is. Oh my God, I couldn't be happier. That is so beautiful. The rainbow's beautiful. I got gorgeous blending in between the layers. That bright glitter on top is gorgeous. Oh my God. In spite of my repeated attempts to take the glitter all the way to the top, it did pull back a little. That happens with resin. It can happen with alcohol inks in resin. It can happen with glitter, obviously, in resin. I'm not the least bit concerned. I'm going to do a little sanding around the rim anyway, smooth things out. Touch more, just very lightest sanding down around the bottom for the same reason. And then I'll bring you back and we will put a decal on this baby. Okay, so I have a graphic to put on. This is just a rough printout of it. I am going to, I used adhesive vinyl for the words and then I used the Nito printable vinyl for the graphics. There is a sale, if you see this in December, there are discount codes down in my description area for uh, the Nito printable, printable vinyl in December, 2021. Start by putting the words down. <laughs> Approximately there. This should be interesting, we'll see if I can piece this all together. Come on, stay there. Okay. I missed one weed, so I will try and get it off here. Come on. Ugh. I am not proficient at the pen just yet. All you people are probably cringing at how I used it. I apologize. I'm still a little better at the pick. There we go. Yay. All right, so there are the words, which means I need my mermaid. That's actually a, a unicorn. It's a complicated, it's a complicated thing. <laughs> I just love this art and the, the whole gist of the graphic. I will link to the artwork below. We're doing the whole captain of the struggle bus thing again. Horn goes about here. The tail goes about there. My 
words aren't very easy to read. I was thinking about a dark type would kind of disappear at least farther down here. So I didn't do black, but now that I see how this looks because of all the sparkle, I would recommend if anybody's going to try this black offset with this type. I'm not going to redo it. We are going to finish this because we're here and we're going to finish it. <laughs> My other words. Whoop! Well, I'm feeling this has been a very discombobulated sort of day. Okay, and now my narwhal. These little boogers are so cute, aren't they? Oh my god. Be a narwhal. Ta da! In a world full of mermaids, be a narwhal. I love that. I absolutely love it. Okay, so how do I handle it now? I am going to put UV resin, a thin layer over printable vinyl and the adhesive vinyl. Nice thin layer, let it cure under a black light because we have absolutely no sun today. And then I will put the final layer of resin on it and the next thing you see should be the big reveal out in the sunshine. Here we go.